I think I've got used to the song. I've just accepted it as 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 being around um, at Christmas time. Um, obviously, for me, it, it reminds me because I was inspired by my brother's suicide to to write it. Um, it reminds me of that. So sometimes it's like I'm not prepared for it if it pops on the radio. Or yesterday I was in a world of my own, and then I walked into a shopping precinct, and there it was playing. So. Um, but it changes over time, I don't know. It's been the same for a long time, but this Christmas now doing it as a charity and giving back is really nice. Mm -hmm. So I'm giving it back now, which is nice. It's not just about me and the song and the time. It's, it's now got another identity as well. And, and, and this feels nice and this has given me a new purpose in a strange way. So it's sort of, I don't know, I like, I like the new energy and, and giving it back. It's not just me and people go, oh, look, that song comes out every year. He's okay, blah, blah, blah. Now it's like it, it, I'm giving it back to a charity and I'm, I'm so blessed to have that chance because it came, you know, it's the 25th anniversary and it's, it's nice and it makes me feel good. You know, I hope to hear that version on, on radio a few times and, you know, you get that thing back and you go, you get that little surprise back. But it does catch you off, you know, going back to the original question, it still catches me off guard now uh, when you hear it every time. Yeah, every I can't say, it always catches me off guard. Sometimes I'm like, why do I know that song? Why do I know that? Oh my God, that one. Uh, we wanted to do it, um, Laura from the record company, London Records, who we were signed to back in the day, she wanted to do something that celebrates the 25th year for it she's and she looked into it last year but it was only 24 years so it didn't make sense to do it so she waited until uh, this year to do it and we wanted to do it for a charity um, which made it kind of I wanted to get involved then because I didn't just want to do a a version of it that's um, a, a norm, you know just a version and put it out there and re-release it it had to be something special. And I think doing it for a charity with mental health, we didn't know what one we wanted to do, but we know we wanted to do mental health and we know we wanted to do men's mental health. And the suicide uh, charity, Calm, was um, getting involved and she knew someone from it. And the song, the story of the song being associated with suicide as well, Though it's a dark, it's a sort of a taboo subject, it was something that I thought we could really help um, bring it into the light a bit more. You know, it's a very taboo subject, and um, the trouble is, so many people, you, you, you know, you never know with a man whether how he's feeling, and you go, "How are you?" you go, yeah, I'm all right. But are they really, and, and 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 are they really behind it, suicidal? And you never know because people put on such a front. Uh, and you never know what's going to happen. And I spoke to my brother an hour beforehand, everything's okay. And you never know. So it's about getting p people to speak if they're getting into that dark place. They can speak about it and ring up and, um, and, it, and, and it will help them hopefully in a, in a nice way. We can get people to talk about it because it's much more acceptable now uh, to speak about it uh, than it was back then. Um, so we're speaking about it a bit more, but men still aren't speaking. We still don't talk about it, but hopefully this, this getting this charity out there and people can read them because these are trained people to speak to. It's better to speak to someone like that that knows the process and how your mind works and stuff and how to deal with it. So It was personal, but it, that's fine. It's, it, that wasn't the problem because I always draw on personal personal experiences or the experience I've seen someone else have and that's what I'll use to write a song or write lyrics to write it about so that wasn't the problem but I just didn't think it was it was to be released I just thought no one would know about it it's just a song I didn't think it was a great song I didn't think it was a, a you know any any anything special but it's nice when people it's, you always feel flat when people go I really like that that's a that's a nice song, you think, great, because you also have loads of songs that people don't like. So it's nice when you get the balance, but um, you know, originally I didn't want to release it. And I said, I remember saying, you can't release that. That's, that's too personal, that one. It's too, and no one wants to talk about that sort of stuff. And, you know, like that. and um, everyone was like, yeah, no, that's a Christmas number one. I mean, Christmas is a time of happiness and it's the complete opposite to this. It's sort of fluffy and stuff, but, uh, it turned out to be released and it was a Christmas hit and the public said, we, we, we like this one. 
we quite like it a lot. So it's really, yeah, it was really a, it was like a big awkward moment. But it was, it was nice. I don't know any different, and I don't view it as a Christmas classic. So I think I'm. For me, it's just a song I hear a lot, but it's not. It's not. Um, it's not. I mean, it hasn't got the word Christmas in it, but I suppose it has got the bells at the end, isn't it? Ba 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 ba. And it is Christmassy, so yeah, it is a, it is a Christmas song. But um, when I hear it, it's not Christmas for me. I, I have other songs that do that for me. Um, but yeah, it is, it is a Christmas Christmassy song. But I don't really think about it like that. Yeah, I, I, I'd forgot about that um, until recently. Yeah, I assumed she got to number one. I didn't know she didn't. And then I realised she didn't because of something I wrote. So does that mean Mariah Carey knows who I am? She might do. She might do. She definitely knows she didn't get to number one that year. That's for sure. Um, I, I don't know. It's, yeah, keeping Mariah off number one is quite a, it's quite a funny thing. Because her song's, it's cracking and it gets played. Every, it doesn't really matter because hers is actually higher up the play, the PRS chart than mine is. So hers is more of a Christmas song in that sense. So it, I don't think she's bothered that she didn't get to number one. Because it's not really about being number one. It's about being chosen as the Christmas song by the public. And the Pogues wasn't number one. And Wham! Last Christmas wasn't number one. And Greg Lake, I believe in Father Christmas, wasn't number one. Yet these are all Christmas songs. They are to me anyway. That was a lovely award to win. Um, I wasn't in it for awards to try and win awards, but it is quite a nice award. That song won, won a lot of stuff, and it's just like, you know, I wish I could have written a few more of them, but I, that was it. So, yeah, it's won a lot of stuff, and that's good. Uh, it's, um, yeah, it was nice. It was really nice, and I've still got the award now, and I've got a nominated got nominated for two Ivan novellas and I won one so that's not it was it was a good year that year with that song I know I'd say it's the song I'm most famous for it's it's I mean I am proud of it yeah it's like um, I'm proud I mean look they're all like your little babies so yeah I am proud of it if I do mention it to people they do know it they do know it so um, it is one that I'm, it's my most famous song, definitely. Yeah, but it's just strange when it's yours, it's different. Um, I like Deep, which is a song I wrote years, you know, years, years, years ago. And I like that song. Um, you have some other songs that you like that didn't, weren't as successful, like Slow It Down and stuff, that was a nice song. Thunder was a nice song. Um, but yeah, it's definitely my most famous song, it's the one people know. So if I mention it to people, they'll know it, you know, and they'll go, oh my God. I know that song, um, so it's definitely my. Mo I think it's my most famous song, and my most proud of it. I suppose I'd have to be because it's achieved so much. Yeah, it's, yeah, I am proud of it. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah. If I was to sit back, yeah, I am bloody proud of it. I think. Um, not at the moment, no. Uh, I'd like to at some point, um, but it, dep I don't, it depends on your mood for songwriting. So maybe, maybe if I can get back into it, yeah, maybe. Uh, do it, but it's like the industry's changed where people don't buy albums so much now um, and they buy LPs more. So maybe, um, maybe do an LP is, is the future, maybe do something like that. But I do like the expression of writing songs, um, but sometimes you want to write a song and you want to keep it to yourself, you know, and you just sort of you think, oh, I, don't, I don't want people to hear that. Last time I'd done that with a personal song, it, it went everywhere. Um, so sometimes, I don't know, it'd be nice to, it'd be nice to release it. But people, the industry changed, didn't it, where you can't, people don't buy albums so much now, which is strange. Just keep doing it. Um, you know, if, if, if you want to be a songwriter, don't expect to write a, a, an award-winning song your first time, you know. And, and some songs you're going to write ain't going to work. Some songs you're going to write, this is my experience, some songs you, you're going to write and you don't even finish because you don't want to fit, they've just gone off wrong, you know, and uh, allow all that because it's only fun and enjoy it and get involved. And, but keep doing it, keep doing it because it will get better as you, as you learn your craft as you go along. Um, and just to keep doing it and don't beat yourself up too much. Um, 
and, and just just keep doing it. You know, not everything works, but some sometimes it does work. And um, don't don't uh, compare yourself to others so much, and have your own style. Christmas, oh, I think well, Paul McCartney, a wonderful Christmas time. Greg Lake, I believe in Father Christmas. Band Aid, do they know it's good? Those sort of songs uh, remind me of Christmas. Staying out of the day doesn't. It's not something I play. You know, I just wouldn't. I wouldn't listen to my own song. Go, yeah, listen to that. Christmas has arrived because that's not. No, but those songs, I love those songs. Um, I don't even mind the odd choir song. Um, Silent Night is a lovely song to hear. That's very Christmassy. Um, what other song? Oh, I think yeah, the Pogues. The Pogues. If I hear Pogues and Greg Lake and Paul McCartney. I am in full Christmas mode.